One Button Benny, written by Alan Windrum, illustrated by Chloe Hallwell Hunter. Benny was different. Benny was special. Benny was a robot. Benny had a bright red button in the middle of his tummy. On the button, written in big, bold letters were the words, only press in an emergency. Benny had never pressed his button. He often wondered what would happen if he did. Benny had always known that he wasn't like the other robots. They all had lots of buttons, and when he pressed them, they did wonderful things. The other robots used to tease Benny, saying, Here comes one button, Benny. Come on, Benny, press your button. Let's see what it does. I bet it doesn't do anything. Does it even work? It didn't help that Benny's mum made him wear a vest when it got cold outside. Every time the other robots pressed their buttons, they would show off, saying, Look what I can do, Benny. I bet you can't do this. Benny often wished that there was an emergency so he could press his big red button. Is this an emergency? Or this? What about this? Can I press my button? One morning, Benny woke up. <clears throat> it seemed just like any other morning. He had his breakfast, brushed his teeth, looked in the mirror at his big, bright red button and wondered what would happen if he pressed it. But this morning, there was something different. There was something wrong. Outside in the street, everyone was zipping and zooming around in a panic, shouting. The collectors are here! Oh dear, what will we do? The collectors are here. Benny had heard stories about the collectors, scary stories that kept him awake at night and made him hide under his blanket. The collectors were small, hairy, scary elephants with green bottoms who travelled through space looking for bright shiny metal. They would gather it all up, throw it into the gigantic crushing machine and turn it into teapots. The collectors had arrived in the night where everyone was sleeping and taking over Benny's planet. All the robots were crying as the collectors took them down to the main street towards the spaceship and the gigantic crushing machine. Help! We are all going to be crushed and turned into teapots! Benny looked at his mum and said, Mum, mum, I don't want to be a teapot. What are we going to do? Is this an emergency? Yes, Benny, this is an emergency. Quick, press your button. You're the only one who could save us now. Benny placed his finger over the big red button on his tummy, closed his eyes and pressed his button. But nothing happened. Then all of a sudden there was a zing, zang, and then a very loud... Boom! Benny went zooming into the sky, faster than the fastest rocket, flying higher and higher up into space. He, pre he pressed his button again, and bright blue, la bright blue laser came shooting out of his fingers and from the toes in his boots, zapping the collectors from behind and turning their bottoms bright red. Benny pressed his button a third time, and there was a brilliant flash of light that stretched across the whole sky. It confused the collectors so much that they all ran around bumping into each other. They were so scared of Benny and what they could do, they ran as fast as they could into their spaceship and flew away, never to return. All of the robots just stood and stared at Benny in amazement. Then, together, they started jumping up and down, smiling and cheering and singing, Zang, zang, zoom! Benny touched the moon! Zang, zang, zoom! His button goes boom! Zang, zang, zoom! Benny wears a vest! Zang, zang, zoom! Benny is the best! Everyone lifted Benny up onto their shoulders as they sang and danced all through the town. Later that night... <coughs> Benny was still amazed at what happened when he pressed his big, bright red button and his mum was tucking him into bed. Benny asked her, Do you think I will ever get to press my button again? I hope that you never have to, Benny, but somehow I think you will. With that, she gave Benny a good night kiss, turned out the light, and before he could say zing, zang, zoom, Benny was fast asleep. The end. <clears throat> Question time. Question number one. What does Benny's button say? Only press an emergency, press if you want to, or press after you brush your teeth. Pause the button to pause the video to find out what would happen next. Oh my god, that was.